What's up guys, it's Unders here for Audio Plugin Deals and in today's video we're going to have a look at the initial audio master suite and how we can use it to finish off our tracks and get them up to that mastered professional level. Let's jump into it. Okay, so first off, let's just break down the GUI of the initial audio master suite, and then we'll show how we can finish off a track in just a couple of steps. So let's go left to right. We've got analog and THD. So analog changes the frequency response of master suite to have more of an analog feel. THD, which is total harmonic distortion, in fact, distorts the entire signal and we start at a really low percent and we can crank that up to almost unrecognizable distortion, but we've got the full range to use. Moving just over to the middle section here, we've got our LUFS meter. Our LUFS meter is a really great measurement. It's the standard for measuring overall loudness of a track. And when you get the track just right, it will in fact go a green color. If you're going for lower levels for some of the streaming platforms, you need to sit just below it and somewhere between like the 16 to 14 marker. If you're pushing it for a little bit louder, like a more of a commercial release, it's going to go to radio, CD, something like that. The LUFS meter will indicate that you're in that range by turning the GUI green, which is really, really helpful. And the loudness measurement of how much you need to push it in or bring it back is controlled by the control just here in the center. On the right hand side, we've got the ceiling. By default, it is set to 0.1 giving just enough headroom for a good master, but you can gauge it to as far back as minus three dB. You shouldn't ever really need to go further back than that. Even the most compressed MP3 would be absolutely fine with around one dB of headroom, but you can also put it right the way to zero, but it's always a brick wall limiter right there. Across the bottom section, we've got compression. Now the compressor is a smart compressor in this case, so it doesn't give you attack and release systems it all is always there and it looks at the audio coming in and compresses it but you do have the soften ability this is the same as adding a soft knee in a regular compressor and we can gauge that in just by controlling it here and we have our compression meter for how much is going in and that's based on the loudness meter being pushed into it so this pushes into the compression there. Then got an EQ with boost and cut across three different bands, low, mid, and high, with ranges of six dB either way. So an overall 12 decibel range. And then something super useful, we've got the stereo image, and we've got a mono and stereo aspect. Now this is really useful to make sure that the low end of your track is gonna be always mono compatible, especially on a club mix. So I'll quite often find myself bringing it up to around 80, as high as 120 hertz, just to make sure everything below that range stays in mono. It is important that you listen to your mix when you do this and make sure nothing is lost in the process. And then if your mix is quite narrow and you want to give some extra stereo width to it, we have a stereo control. This will not affect anything on the mono control. So anything below the frequency set here will not be affected by the stereo control. Super useful. So just using those controls, we can absolutely finish off a track and get it sounding sweet. So let's dive into that. Okay, so here we are in Logic and let's just have a look at how we could finish up a track using the initial audio master suite. So what we've got loaded up here is the original mix for my track Like A Fool, which sounds like this. And we're just going to use Master Suite just to give it those finishing touches to make it ready for a, a nice, loud, ready, compressed club release in this case. One of the first things to look at with Master Suite is it has a LUFS meter here. And depending on what we're looking to master for, we need to get the LUFS measurements for that. If we were going to a streaming platform, where it is now is going to be about right. We want to be somewhere between minus 16 and minus 14. However, if we're going for a big loud club mix or perhaps even a radio ready edit, we can be a little bit louder and needs to be a little bit more upfront and slightly more compressed. So we're gonna go in that kind of vein to do this mix. So the first thing we're gonna do is push the loudness up. So we're probably sort of a minus 13, maybe even minus 12 on the LUFS front, but make sure we're not getting too much compression and keeping an eye on the meter here. If we are, we're gonna use the softener to take the compression back a bit. The compressor on Master Suite is a smart compressor. So there's not an attack and a release setting, but it in fact looks at the audio ahead of time and makes the best adjustment for the audio coming into it. So let's just set those.
notice how Master Suite goes green when it's in that right ballpark. The other things we can do to make sure that our master comes across the best it can is make sure the low end is always in mono, especially for a club mix. So here we're gonna use the stereo image and the mono control. And this track, my kick drum is quite high up, sort of around 120 hertz range. We wanna make sure that really sits through. What we're gonna do is bring mono right up around to 120 hertz and make sure we're not losing too much of our stereo field when we have a listen back. Kicks nice and prominent, everything's still there. And we've also got a couple of flavor options. So we've got an analog control here. It cooks the high end quite a bit, but in a nice way. And we've got THD, which is gonna add effectively harmonic distortion. That can be quite nice to use as well. I like to overdo it and then dial it back. So I like what the analog options doing there and the little bit of THD added. It's cooking the highs a little bit too much. So I'm gonna dial those back by mm, probably about a dB and a half. And I think we're pretty much then finished up. I'm gonna add a little bit of mid as well. Awesome. And that's a really quick and easy way just to finish up a tune and get it up to mastered level in a really nice sounding way. One last thing to look at, if you were going to a low quality format, perhaps a SoundCloud bounce, be a good idea to reduce the ceiling by at least half a decibel and by as much as a decibel as when you convert to those lower quality formats, you can still cause clipping there. But for going to CD and high quality file, the minus 0.01 to 0.03 range is going to be absolutely spot on. So guys, that is how I would use the master suite from Initial Audio just to do that final finishing up and touch up of a track to get it up to a solid level for a release. Hope the video was helpful for you and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Don't forget to check out audio plugin deals to download Initial Audio's master suite today.